Hello everyone. Cricket is the most popular sport in India. It is considered a religion. But do you know how, when and where did the game originate? Let's understand in this chapter the story of cricket, chapter 10 of class 7. Sport is an integral part of a healthy life. Integral is very important or necessary. It is one way in which we amuse or entertain ourselves, compete with each other and stay fit. Among the various sports such as hockey, football and tennis, cricket appears to be the most appealing national entertainment today. How much do we really know about the game called cricket? So sport is very necessary to stay fit to have a healthy lifestyle. It also entertains us. There are many games which are played in India such as hockey, football and tennis, but cricket is still the most popular, most appealing and most entertaining game. and how much do we know about cricket actually let's read about the game in the chapter the story of cricket cricket grew out of the many stick and ball games played in england 500 years ago the word bat is an old english word that simply means stick or club so cricket actually originated from many stick and ball games that were played in england some 500 years ago and bat is a word that is an old english word that actually means stick or a club by the 17th century cricket had evolved enough evolved means developed to be recognizable as a distinct game so cricket emerged as a different a distinct game by 17th century till the middle of 18th century bats were roughly the same shape as hockey sticks curving outwards at the bottom There was a simple reason for this. The ball was bowled underarm along the ground and the curve at the end of the bat gave the batsman the best chance of making contact. So the bat that we see today were not the original bats of cricket. They were actually curved uh, at the end like a hockey stick and the bats were like that till 18th century. There was a reason for such kind of bats because the balls were rolled uh, uh, on the ground. They were not thrown through the air. so this kind of bat gave a good grip to the batsman to hit the ball one of the peculiarities peculiarities mean strangeness or weirdness of cricket is that a test match can go on for 5 days and still end in a draw draw means with no result no other modern team sport takes even half as much time to complete a football match is generally over in an hour and a half even baseball completes 9 innings in less than half the time that it takes to play a limited overs match the shorter version of modern cricket so this is a strange thing about cricket that a test match can go on for 5 days and still end without result no other modern team sport goes on so long a football match is over in generally 1 and a half hour even baseball a sport which is played in usa can complete in a nine inning which takes less than the time it takes to play a limited overs match another curious characteristic of cricket is that the length of the pitch is specified 22 yards but the size or shape of the ground is not most other team sports such as hockey and football lay down the dimensions that means length and breadth of the playing area cricket does not ground can be oval that means egg shaped like the adelaide oval or nearly circular like the like the chepok in chennai a six at the melbourne cricket ground needs to clear much more ground than it does at the ferosha kotla in delhi so another strange thing about cricket is that the length of the pitch that means distance between two pair of stump is 22 yards but the size and the shape of ground is not specified most other team sports such as hockey and football they have specific dimensions that means length and breadth of the playing area but cricket does not and the ground can be oval as well as circular so there are two strange characteristic of cricket first a test match can go on for 5 days and still end in a draw and another is the size and shape of the cricket ground is not specified hitting a six in melbourne cricket ground will need to clear much more ground then it doesn't ferosha kotla stadium in delhi that is that means the size and shape of the ground is not specified there's a historical reason behind both these oddities oddities mean strangeness there is a historical reason there is a reason behind these oddities cricket was the earliest modern team sport to be codified codified means standardized 
or set rules and regulation. The first written laws of cricket were drawn up in 1744. So, cricket is one of the earliest game which was codified in which rules were set and the first written law of cricket were drawn in 1744. They stated, the principals shall choose from amongst gentlemen present two empires who shall absolutely decide all disputes disputes means disagreement or argument so in the law it was stated that all the players among themselves they will choose two gentlemen who will who would be called empire and they will decide all the disputes all the disagreements in the game the stumps must be 22 inches high and the bale across them six inches the ball must be between five and six ounces and the two sets of stumps 22 yards the distance between two set of stumps should be 22 yards and the stump should be 22 inches long and the bale as you can you can see in the picture what is bale it should be six inches long and the weight of the ball should be five and six ounces these were some of the early rules of cricket the world's first cricket club was formed in hambledon which is in england in 1760s and Melbourne cricket club was founded in 1787 so cricket was one of the game in which the clubs were also found and rules were defined so it's a very old game during the 1760s and 1770s it became common to pitch the ball through the air rather than roll it along the ground this change gave ballers the option of length length means the distance from which batsmen from the batsman at which the ball pitches that means it can be thrown deception through the air that means confusing the batsman by, while throwing the air you can have some trick plus increased pace it also opened new possibilities of spin and swing in response batsmen had to master timing and short selection short selection means choice of stroke so we saw that initially the balls were rolled on the ground and not thrown in air in during 1960s and nine, uh, sorry during 1760s and 1770s it became popular to throw the ball through air so this changes gave the baller the option of uh, distance between batsmen and the ball and they can also use different kind of tactics of throwing ball like spin and swing it also gave batsmen the choice of selection of stroke so some technicalities were introduced in cricket one immediate result was the replacement of curved bat with the straight bat and during this time uh, the curved bat was replaced by straight bat as we saw initially the cricket bat was like hockey stick now it was replaced by the straight bat the weight of the ball was limited to between five and a half to five three fourth ounces and the width of the bat to four inches so these rules were also specified about the weight of the ball and width of the bat in 1774 the first leg before laws was published also around this time a third stump became common by 1780 three days had become the length of a major match and this year also saw the creation of first six seam cricket ball six seams means ball with six stitches so you can see these were some of the rules which were specified uh, in around 1760s and 1770s so you can see how cricket became popular from its initial stage and rules were also specified for the game if you look at the game's equipments equipment is instruments you can see how cricket both changed with changing time and yet fundamentally fundamentally means primarily or basically remained true to its origins in rural england so the equipment of games has changed with time but still cricket is fundamentally rooted it is rooted to its origin and its origin was in rural england in villages in england Cricket's most important tools are all made of natural pre-industrial metals. The bat is materials. The bat is made with leather, twine. Twine is strong thread and cork. Cork is a light brown substance that is obtained from the outer layer of bark of cork oak. So cricket has not, the instrument, the equipment of cricket has not changed a lot with time. It has originally remained 
sticking sticking to its root and it is made from natural substances not uh, from pre-industrial material the bat is made from leather twine and cloth even today both bat and balls are handmade not industrially manufactured so it is surprising that even today bats and balls are not manufactured in industry they are made by hand the material of bat changed slightly over time once it was cut out of a single piece of wood now it consists of two pieces the blade which is made out of wood and the willow tree of the willow tree and the handle which is made out of cane that became available as european colonists are trade and trading companies established themselves in asia so there there has been slight change the material uh, has of the bat has changed over the time initially it was made of single piece of piece of wood but gradually it consist uh, now it consist it is consist of two pieces the blade of the bat is made of the wood of willow tree and the handle is made out of cane that uh, that became available when uh, europeans colonial started trading with uh, started establishing themselves in asia unlike unlike golf and tennis cricket has refused to make its tools with industrial or man made materials plastic fiberglass and metal have been firmly rejected so uh, like in golf and tennis the instruments are made from plastic fiberglass and metal cricket has rejected that cricket is still sticking to its uh, origin and it is still handmade and doesn't use these uh, um, industrial made substances but in the matter of protective equipment cricket has been influenced by technological changes the invention of vulcanized rubber led to the introduction of pads in 1848 vulcanized rubber is hardened rubber that is uh, used that is made by treating uh, sulfur at high temperature but uh, cricket's original instrument has not changed but the protective equipment that has been influenced by the change in technology like the invention of vulcanized rubber has uh, led to the introduction of pads in 1848 and protective gloves after that and the modern game would be unimaginable without helmets made out of metal and synthetic lightweight materials and helmet is also necessary which is made out of metal and synthetic material so the original instruments like bats and balls they are still handmade but protective gears like helmet pads and gloves they are made of synthetic and light made materials now let's see part 2 the origin of cricket are to be found in bombay and the first indian community to start playing the game was the small community of zoroastrian the parsis brought into close contact with the british because of their interest in trade and the first indian community to westernize the parsis founded the first indian cricket club the oriental cricket club in bombay in 1848 Parsi's club was founded and sponsored by Parsi businesses like the Tatas and Wadias. So in India cricket first originated in Bombay and Parsis were the first community to play cricket because they were in close contact with the British because of their interest in trade and they were also the first community to westernize and they founded the first Indian cricket club which was called Oriental Cricket Club. which was found in bombay in 1848 bombay is now called mumbai and parsi's clubs were found, found uh, they, they were funded by businessmen like tatas and wadias hence they had lot of money they were rich and they could afford to play cricket the white cricket elite in india elite means superior people who consider them themselves superior in quality and ability offered no help to the enthusiastic parsis In fact there was a quarrel between the Bombay Gymkhana a white only club and the Parsis cricketers over the use of public park so the white people the british people in india they did not offer uh, the enthusiastic the interested parsis and in fact there was a quarrel between them the bombay gymkhana which was the uh, cricket club of uh, white people and the parsis cricket club there was a quarrel between them over the use of public area and the parsis complained that the park was left unfit for the cricket because the polo ponies of bombay gymkhana dug up the surface so this was the quarrel that uh, the parsis complained that uh, there's their cricket playing area the practice area was was dug up uh, by the polo ponies polo ponies means the horses which are used to play 
polos so it was dug up by them so it was unfit for the uh, cricket playing when it became clear that the colonial authorities were prejudiced prejudice means biased in favor of their white compatriot compatriots compatriot means fellow countrymen the parsis built their own gymkhana to play cricket in so when it became clear that the white people white authorities they are biased towards their countrymen the parsis they built their own cricket club uh, their own gymkhana an area to play cricket the rivalry between the parsis rivalry is the competition between the parsis and bombay gymkhana had a happy ending for these pioneers pioneers means settlers people who have originated it of indian cricket so this competition between parsis and white people it ended in a happy way how because a parsi team bet the bombay gymkhana at cricket in 1889 so parsi's team defeated bombay gymkhana team in 1889 just before just 4 years after the foundation of indian national congress in 1885 an organization that was lucky to have among its early leaders the great parsi statesman and intellectual dada bhai nehru ji so just after 4 years of uh, in some time parsi's cricket team defeated bombay gymkhana which happened just after 4 years of form formation of indian national cricket uh, national congress modern cricket is dominated by test and one day international played between national teams the players who become famous who live on in the memories of cricket public are those who have played for their country so in modern cricket test has become more popular and one day international is played between national teams and the player who had played for their nation they have remained in the memories of people the players indian fans remember even now are those who were fortunate enough to play test cricket ck nayadu an outstanding indian batsman of his time lives on in the popular imagination when some of his great contemporaries contemporaries means uh, people living in the same time like palwankar vitil and palwankar balu have been forgotten so ck nayadu has remained in the memories of people while his contemporaries that mean people who lived at the same time like palwankar vitil and palwankar balu had been forgotten and even though nayadu was past his cricketing prime when he played for india in its first test match against england starting in 1932 his place in indian cricket history is assured because he was the country's first test captain past his prime means past his age even though he was very aged when he played cricket uh, for uh, india in 1932 and when he was the captain of indian team still his uh, he will remain alive in the memories of indians because he was country's first test captain India entered the world of test cricket in 1932 a decade and a half before it became an independent nation so the first cricket test was played uh, by India in 1932 it was before India got freedom in 1947 this was possible because cricket test test cricket from its origins in 1877 was organized as a contest between different part of british empire not sovereign nation sovereign means a nation that has one central government that has the power to govern so it was possible for uh, to play uh, cricket uh, by indians before freedom because uh, india was ruled by british empire it was not a sovereign nation at that time and british were the origina- originator of cricket the first test was played between england and australia when australia was still a white settler colony so the first test match was played between england and australia and australia was also occupied by british at that time similarly the small countries of caribbean that together make up the west indies team were british colonies till well after the second world war so in most of the countries uh, there were british colonies and that is why pop cricket became popular in those countries where british colonies were there and uh, uh, they could play cricket from a very long time so you must have seen that west indies australian cricket team indian cricket team pakistani cricket team they are very popular because they were ruled by british and british were the originators of cricket television coverage changed cricket 
it expanded the audience for the game by beaming cricket into small towns beaming means shining cricket and villages it also broadened cricket's social base children who had never previously had the chance to watch international cricket because they lived outside the big cities could now watch and learn by imitating imitating means copying their heroes and we all know that television has brought a, a big change uh, in our life and even in increasing the popularities of cricket because cricket can uh, now it, it has broadened the the social base of cricket more and more people can watch it children also have a chance of watching international cricket and imitating that means copying their heroes of cricket the technology of satellite television and the worldwide reach of multinational television companies created a global market for cricket so advancement in technology also increased the global market for cricket matches in sydney could now be watched live in surat since india had the largest viewership of the game among the cricket playing nation and the largest market in the cricketing world the game center of gravity shifted to south asia this shift has symbol uh, was symbolized by shifting of icc headquarters from london to tax free dubai so india has a large viewership of cricket there cricket is loved in india as i told initially it is considered a religion in india so this has also changed the marketing uh, technology of cricket and the headquarter was shifted from uh, london to dubai because asia south asia has a great base of cricket observers so it's very popular in asia that is why the headquarter of icc international cricket club was shifted from london to dubai 150 years ago the first indian cricketers the parsis had to struggle to find an open space to play in today the global marketplace has made indian players the best paid most famous cricketers in the game men for whom the world is a stage so 150 years ago the originators of the cricket in india the parsis they had to struggle to find an a space to practice but today the global marketplace has made indian players the best paid and most famous cricketer in the games so indian cricketers are the best paid and most famous players uh, in the world in the world which is like a stage for them this transformation was made up of many smaller changes the replacement of gentlemanly amateur amateur means played for uh, uh, played in an unprofessional way or done as a hobby by the paid professionals the triumph triumph means victory of one day game as it overshadowed test cricket in terms of popularity and remarkable changes in global commerce and technology so the transformation is in game was because of many smaller changes the game which was played uh, in an unprofessional way as a hobby was replaced by paid professional and uh, one day game one day cricket has become more popular than test cricket and there has been a remarkable change in the commerce and technologies and uh, people are investing in the game Tech, there is advance in technology because of which cricket can be reached to every nook and corner of the country that is why it has become so popular so you can see children that uh, cricket which was originated uh, by 150 years ago where parsis were even struggling to find a place to play has evolved so much that it has reached to each and every household you can see children playing cricket uh, cricket even on roads it the game has become so much popular in india so this uh, extract is taken from chapter 7 of uh, class 9th history book uh, and this uh, i hope it has given you a lot of knowledge about the game of cricket and uh, children who are interested in cricket would have enjoyed this chapter now you can go through the question answers which i have uh, marked here you can pause the video and go through the question answers on each page so these are the question answers children uh, you can try to write them by yourself and then copy uh, or tally it from what i have written and i hope you have understood the chapter if you still have any problem you can you can write in the comment section and i will answer your question this was the last chapter of our book honeycomb thank you for listening to the video students i will see you in my next video till then bye bye take care